In this video, I'm going over my predictions of camera bodies that will be coming out from Sony in 2023. And here's the list one by one and the specs I think that will come out for each one of them. First, Sony will most likely drop the APS-C camera in 2023, the A6700 or the A7000 that have been rumored in the past. The last APS-C camera to come out was in 2019 with the A6600 and the A6100, which are both great little cameras. The new one will have a flip out screen like the newer Sony bodies, A7 IV, A7 S III, not like the new A7R V, however. I don't think anyway. We should see 10-bit color with s Cinetone, which will bolster the video specs of this camera for vloggers or people wanting to use a smaller camera and sensor. I am thinking very close specs to the FX30, but with the addition of a mechanical shutter. Here's some other things I think will come about, but we may not see all of these. 4K60, I'm pretty sure. I think this is a must. You know, the competition has that and even higher recording frame rates um, in their cameras, so. I think that's kind of a no brainer. This camera will come with a single SD card slot that will be able to use both UHS-2 as well as type A cards for increased data rates from the higher frames per second and codecs. Active IBIS will also for sure grace us in this camera. On the photo side, I think we will see 33 megapixel sensor with 10 to 15 frames per second continuous shooting. I am thinking that we will see some of the new AI autofocus functions as we got on the A7R5 but really time will tell on this camera, but I am so certain that we will see a new APS-C camera from Sony in 2023, like the FX30. But let me know your thoughts on this camera down below. Let me know what you would wanna see in a APS-C camera from Sony in 2023. Next up, we have the A93, which this one I'm not super sure on because we have the A1 that kind of took its place, but I could see that there's a need for a a solely sports focused camera with like a low megapixel, not low, like 20, 24 or 33 megapixel sensor that you can just get crazy fast burst rates out of for mechanical and electric shutter. We've had the A92 since October of 2019 and it is just about time for a refresh or they just replace it with the A1, we'll see. There's a lot of rumors about this camera and what can they really add besides updated autofocus and video codecs that aren't really needed as this is truly a photo first camera. Thus just replacing it with the A1 I think is their smartest thing. But if they do come out with it, my guesses would be that we are looking at a few sure upgrades to this camera. The first is autofocus. This camera will get a big update with the new autofocus that is in the A7R5. This will bring it up to today's standards and really be able to compete with the likes of the R3 from Canon as that camera has some great tricks up its sleeve. The screen and EVF will also get updates on this camera. And we may see the new flip out screen on this camera that the A7R5 has, as it just makes sense for a camera like this and every camera moving forward to get this. I may be bringing this up in other sections, just ignore it if I talk about it too much. As far as crazy specs for the frames per second, I think we will be close to the A1 with a 33 megapixel sensor this time around. 30 frames per second won't be too difficult for them to achieve in this camera, I assume, with a 33 megapixel sensor. Then of course, we will see dual type A card slots because this camera will greatly benefit from that. Better active IBIS for video and 10-bit should be included, but these are maybes for me on this camera because they really need to have a photo first camera come out for sports and wildlife. And this would kind of be that, that camera, I think, for that sports photographer. The A7C2 would be a great camera for Sony to refresh in 2023, even though it is only two years old as of making this video. Bringing this camera up to the A7 IV specs is a must for Sony to continue this line of cameras. For this one, we'll see 10-bit color with that Cinetone. The IBIS from the A7R5 would be nice as you are traveling with this camera and want to be light, which would play heavily into having good IBIS as you don't want to use a gimbal or sticks when moving around a lot. Improved autofocus ability and with the dual gain sensor that these cameras have, that's so funny that Sony still doesn't say that they have a second base ISO even though they do have a base second base ISO. At any rate, the A7C2 will have the same stuff the A7 IV has, I'm pretty sure. So focus breathing compensation, manual focus assist with the color blocks and such. I've never really used it and wasn't a huge fan to begin with, to be honest, but I think it will be there in this next camera from Sony in the A7C2. This will have a 33 megapixel sensor, feel very much like the A7 IV, and I think it'll be a great camera for them to create, honestly. Now we talk about the A7S IV, and this one should be interesting. And are we gonna have to wait as long as we did Last time for the A7S 3 only time will tell. But right now, this camera is two years old 
and it still is very much new feeling as so many of the Sony cameras haven't outdone it yet. It is still one of the best bang for your buck video cameras out there for low light and really everything. Let me break that last statement down a little bit. You have an EVF, dual ISO, a flip screen, super fast readout, true one-to-one -one recording, no oversampled stuff going on in here. Pretty good stills camera if you don't need crazy resolution and all the other cameras are modeled after it in some way or another. The FX3, same camera with more video functionality. FX6, same camera, just cinema form. Want one for sure, but it's the same camera. Plus you have IBIS. A1 has 8K and 51 megapixel sensor, but I still think the A7S III is a better buy, mainly because you are saving 2,500 bucks. So what will the S4 really bring to the table at this point besides more money for Sony? First, if they did, I think they will go with a 24 megapixel sensor I wish, and 6K max 2430p full frame, 4K 180 full frame, 1080p 480 full frame, dual menus, kind of like the Canon R5C, where you can go from photo to video and the menu will change to a more video centric style, maybe. We'll get the same screen as the A7R5, which would be honestly amazing. Better IVIS like the A7R5, the same AI autofocus as the 7R5 also. This would be an awesome camera and be capable of honestly so much. Totally a pipe dream though, as I am more inclined to the idea that this camera won't come out for probably two to five years. If it did, we would also see the FX3 II come out shortly after and get everyone upset again that they just got the A7S IV and then the camera they really wanted comes out. No, just me, got it. I'll stop complaining then. Then maybe they don't even come out with the S4 and just come straight away with the FX3 II or FX4 maybe. What do you think of that idea? But then we should probably just touch on the A1. I don't think we'll see an update in 2023. I think it's more of a January 2024 scenario or they get rid of the A9 II and come out with the A1 II and the A1 takes place of the A9 II at like a cheaper price point. But with that said, and if they did update it, I am thinking the following things would be coming about. Improved AI autofocus, obviously. It's a $7,000 camera, 6,500, wherever you are, tax. It's a $7,000 camera. It's gonna get all the stuff that the A7R5 just got and hopefully more, but improved AI autofocus. The new screen, tilt and flip out. AK60, mm, I don't know. Just seeing if you're paying attention. That's really all they can do to improve this camera is just update it with everything the A7R5 has and keep everything else kind of the same. Maybe some improved video specs, but we'll see. Maybe get it to have a faster shutter speed than 10 frames per second and uncompressed raw. It's more of a wish. But that's really all I've got. These are my predictions for 23, and I may be right and I may be wrong, but let's have a conversation about it below. And you let me know what your thoughts are on every camera that I just mentioned. If there's something that you think is gonna be coming out, then correct me or tell me what you think down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you got something from this. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next one. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you aren't or if you like to. It's up to you. And uh, cheers.